Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. If this is your first time here, no, my voice does not always sound like this. It will get better. Uh, it's been a little bit of a rough week as far as catching the crud, right? I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, and, and I'm in Colorado and it has been snowing. We were blanketed with snow, feet of snow. It was absolutely crazy. I have not left the house since Tuesday, which is unusual because I normally, you know, go in the office and all that other stuff, but it's been crazy. Ah, <sighs> that's not why you're here. Um, I'm a yarn channel. I talk about yarn. I don't sell anything, right? You know, I just, I just talk about yarn. And, and showing things that I've made with yarn and things that I plan on making with yarn and dreaming about yarn. And when I get purchases or I find fun things, I show them and share them because um, it's what I like to do. It's you're, you're just like getting a a window into my brain of what does this weird lady on the Internet like to do when she gets hold of yarn? I mean, that's that's really this. That's what this is. It's kind of like a zoo um, with hidden cameras kind of a thing. Yeah, something like that. Okay, no, I'm not on any cough medicines or anything like that. This is just my brain, the way that it normally works. So Mondays, I like to normally show off everything that I've worked on during the week. Finished makes, projects, things along that line. Uh, but first, being that today is Veterans Day, November the 11th, I wanted to do a shout out to all of our veterans who have uh, sacrificed so much for our country. Thank you so very, very much for everything that you have done and for being there, for putting on the uniform and raising your right hand and saying, I'll go. Uh, my husband did that. I did that. Our oldest son did that. I mean, it is it is our honor to to serve you. And I hope that if you are a veteran that you feel that way towards everyone else, that it is your honor to have done so. But anyway, there we go. There's that. What did I work on all week? <clears throat> I don't know. I'm kind of in a fog. There's a couple days I didn't do videos. I normally do videos daily. I didn't do videos because, uh, hello, the voices really like garbage. So didn't want to come on and scare anybody. And uh, yeah, there's that, right? You know, maybe I should start thinking of things and, and uh, have a couple of videos ready to go, but whatever. Because YouTube hates when you do something different. They're weird. So I uh, I had just gotten back last Monday. I had just gotten back from Arkansas and I got to do some knitting on the plane. I, I went and visited my brother, my youngest brother. He just turned 50, right? When the baby turns 50, right? Yes, he's the baby. So when the baby turns 50, so we went and everything, and, and it was wonderful. It was. So got back just in time for this mega snowstorm. But while I was on the plane, I actually started this. This little baby sweater. Yeah, we got babies coming. Yeah, in our family, we got babies coming. I started this cute little baby sweater. This is called Tristan, and it is a free pattern in the newborn size. Newborn is zero to three months. They do have, the designer has larger sizes. Those are paid for, but this one's free. I will link it down below. You can always follow the designer and buy a bigger one if you want it. And I know I didn't do any ends. I told you I wasn't feeling good all week. No ends got done, but all of it needs to be, um, I'm going to put some snaps right here button snaps or fasteners and then you can do some decorative buttons on the outside edge right along here and make it look really pretty uh, we are expecting a grandchild in may grandchild number six I and mean, we're you know we're quite ecstatic we don't know boy or girl yet <clears throat> doesn't matter be loved right grandbabies will always be loved so i have that one that i got uh started on the plane and finished it before I came home so I thought that was pretty amazing I've got another sweater where's my other one okay so the other one that I'm working on so that one's a free pattern the other one is in this book and this is baby knits for beginners by Debbie Bliss I've had this book for like 20 years yeah I think it's like a 2003 book I really have and this this pattern I've done a few times over the years let me find the pattern and decided I was going to do that one again. It is adorable. It is in four pieces. It's a pieced pattern, front, back, both arms, and then you sew in the armholes. So we're going to see if I'm any better this time around than when I was. Oop, balls of yarn down. I do have, I don't know where they're all at. I guess sleeve. 
Ooh, I need one more sleeve, one more sleeve. Um, yeah, where do my bodies go? I don't know, they're around here somewhere. Like I said, I haven't been feeling well, so I don't know where I put it. I have to clean my room and figure out what happened. But I do have one sleeve done and the front and back done. So I just have one more sleeve to go. And they're small sleeves, look at that. And then it's putting that together. So yay me on making some baby things. I did not work on my granddaughter's sweater or my husband's sweater during this last week. I just didn't want to work on something that I could possibly mess up and care about. So I did a lot of hats. And, you know, I figure if I mess up on a hat, oh well. I mean, I, I'm going to give it away anyway. It'll be fine. So this one you saw a little bit earlier in the week. I love this pattern. This is a stitch that I got out of, oh, I moved my book. I moved it. It is an Alice Starmore book. It is a stitch library. And this is just one of the stitch patterns that's in that. It's just graphs. And, you know, it says charted knitting, but hello, a graph doesn't care if you're knitting or crocheting. So if you do any, any project that has graphs, grab any book, crochet, knit, weaving, it doesn't matter because graphs don't care. And, you know, just get the one that appeals to you the most. So loving this so much so this was the first one that I did didn't do this one list this week I did this one over this week so you know I'm I'm really enjoying that pattern and let's see let me have a sneak peek Shh. my husband's not supposed to know about this look at that do we know what that color is do we know what that is oh, it's the same pattern do you know what yarn that is that's his sleeve All right, if you've been around for a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But otherwise, I just put that down and I disavow that. Mm -mm. Nope. So my husband's my biggest fan. He watches all my videos and sometimes he's doing other things and he's listening and not necessarily watching. So there you have it. Uh, another hat I got done. This one, I think it's called a Lauren hat. And it's been in my library for quite some time. It does have a price tag on it. Now, I don't know if I got it for free or I paid for it years ago. Not sure. But it is just a cute little hat. And this was some of the yarn that I got in my Aberdeen Wools mystery bag. So I'm kind of going through some of my latest purchases and using a ball or two. So in my brain, if I use one ball of the massive purchase that I got, I've used the yarn. It makes no sense. It, it doesn't. But, you know, it's something of, I used some portion of it. So there we're good. I know. So yeah, this is this is one of those. And I think it's really, really nice. Uh, this is a cotton blend. So not the big warm hat, but it'll still be a nice hat. Sorry about the red face. And a pause to cough. Oh, the baby sweater that I made, the first one, the orange one, that was using this yarn. And I got this one in a mystery bag at Quilter's Cottage, the one that's in Nebraska. They carry yarn. So this is Knit Pal, <clears throat> cotton to the core. It is a DK yarn and it is a cotton acrylic blend. 142 yards, 50 grams. Whoo, I'm doing fine. Honest, I really, really am. So much better than what I was. So much better. The voice doesn't say so, but really, really, I am. Why do I have such a problem finding the composition on this particular... Anyway, it's cotton and acrylic, and I don't know the co the percentage because I cannot find it on the label. There's not that many words, but my goodness. Um, I had two of the orange and used about one and a half to make the baby blanket, or baby sweater, and I've got the pink one left. Again, those were in a mystery bag that I got. See, I'm trying to go through some of the stuff that I've been using. It's kind of fun. And with all the snow that we had going on, I made this one. Oh my gosh, this is the snowfall hat. This is a free pattern. And this is a, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, can you see, you can see the twinkle. I can see the twinkle, you can see that. So that teal right there, I know it doesn't look like a teal to me, but whatever. That's Joanne Big Twist Twinkle. And this is gray. I, I could have used a white, but I used the gray because the gray had the, the sparkle in it also. And I'm loving it. A free pattern with us being snowed in. Perfect. I mean, there you go. So really having fun with the hats and just 
making a bunch of them, just really having a blast. Oh, were you watching yesterday? Did you see? Is my voice better, by the way? If you saw yesterday and today, is my voice better or worse? Because I think I'm kind of like ear blind to it, right? You know, I'm like, uh, this is the most talking I've done in a week. I can tell you that right now. <clears throat> I don't sound like me, so I don't want to actually make words, if that makes sense. So yesterday, I did get on to make a video and I commented there's um, Amba O'Brien has some patterns that she's giving away for free until the 17th of November. She has a one-time code. I'll put it down below in the description of this video too, but a one-time code, you can pick out one of the patterns. Well, I grabbed the hat and the cowl set and started working on the hat. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I finished it. Now, of course, if I block it, it won't look like that, right? Because we know lace does this and it opens and it blooms and it's gorgeous. But see the hearts? Can you see it? Oh my gosh, I got it done. So really thrilled with that. This is a Knit Picks, one of their neon brights. And this is a Cascade Heritage sock yarn. I love using that particular sock yarn for clothing items, for kids' clothing items and hats garments mittens anything really i just i think it's a beautiful yarn it's absolutely stunning back again so this one i got done i did weave from the ends of this one which is funny because on all the other ones well not all of them because i did it i weave the ends on this one too why did i leave the orange one why does that have ends do i not like it i think it's pretty i like orange i don't understand anyway sidetrack so the ends are woven in and it's ready to be blocked because I think it really needs it. Maybe. I don't know. I don't generally block hats because I figure a head's going to be in it. But for that lace to really show up. Oh, see, that's what it works, right? You pop a head in that and it's going to it's gonna do its thing. It's, it's going to be there. Now, is that odd coloring? Did I just like mess up by putting the neon with, with that? Because those colors aren't necessarily in there. But I did that because I'm weird for one thing. But the other one is, look, I got a sock. See? See? Look, I got a matching set. I mean, it's not the same because this is a different uh, stitch pattern. But, you know, I've got the socks with the heel tough coat. See? See? It's, it's a matching set. It's special. Yeah, I'm a little special sometimes. That's okay. It is okay. So there we go. And, you know, I thought that even when I did this. But I didn't want to do just the plain. And evidently this here for my socks... I really wanted to do the toe cuff and heel since out of eight pairs of socks I've made, seven of them have the corresponding toe cuff and heel. And that's not how I normally do them because I normally just cast on with one and just make the sock. So this year I wanted to be a little special. Yeah. And now I have that. So I don't know how much they really match, but they're consistent. <laughs> I got it all together. So anyway how many hats did i do this week it's kind of a lot one two three four five five hats here i did a baby sweater it's kind of a, a busy week i mean you know the sweater was done over the weekend but whatever um yeah that is what i have gotten done this week there's a lot of things that i wanted to work on and just didn't really trust myself with and uh, I didn't really hang out in my yarn room. Well, for one, it was really cold and everything. You know, I was off and on sleeping. Go figure. So I didn't do some of the things that I normally do. But, you know, sometimes it's good to shake things up. It really is. Look at the positive and everything else. And then to have done so much when there were days where all I could do was just cuddle the yarn. You know, uh, it was one of those sick days, you know, the sick days where you can't craft, you know, I don't mind a sick day. I'm not going to lie. I do not mind a sick day every once in a while where it's just, hey, I'm not feeling well, but you know, you shouldn't go into the office because you're contagious, right? You know, so you shouldn't go in. Got it. But you can still function. You can still do things. See, so those sick days I kind of like because it's like, hey, I got that. I'm, I'm doing the right thing. I'm not going to get my coworkers sick, but I can craft all day long. See, and I used to call it when I was still in the military and everything, you know, the no knitting sick days. So those are the ones I didn't like. The no knitting, no crafting sick days, because that's when you're like really miserable, you know. Mm -mm. Didn't like those. But uh, other than that, every once in a while, a, a day just to 
play with your own stuff, that's not a bad thing. It's just not. But anyway, that's what I've gotten done. Um, I'm very surprised uh, that there was that much done. I I didn't expect that, especially this this hat. I mean, these two hats. Did you see these? I mean, this is color work. And this is lace. Now we realize I didn't want to work on any of my major projects because I didn't want to mess them up. So then I picked as an alternate a color work and a complicated lace. Things don't make sense to me sometimes. But I guess that's okay. We don't always have to make sense in life. Well, I'm sure you can tell my voice is really going downhill and there's been a lot of chops within the video, which means I've been coughing off screen. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll let you guys go before I have to cut the voice again. You guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. And I will talk to you guys again later. Bye-bye.